Hey guys, it's your boy Nate, aka Keyless Snake here, back with another video. Today we were doing another Greenville car review video, which was requested. Also, Pembroke Pines video is coming out today as well. I also plan to do some supercars and Pembroke Pines in the future. I did get the supercar pass for Pembroke Pines, so I was planning. I just plan on doing a lot of stuff, guys. So, 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 um. So, before we start the video, I just want to let you guys know the vehicle re the vehicle I'm reviewing today is a vehicle that I already reviewed before, but when I did that review video, the car, let's say the, the, the car was much different. Um, basically, if you guys don't know, that's when the cars had unrealistic top speeds and stuff. When they fixed that, this car was changed. This car was nerfed. Before, when I made that video, that the thing had a top speed of like 200 some miles an hour. Now it's more realistic, and so basically this could be basically an updated version of that video. With but only the only difference is it's gonna be updated. It's gonna have intro and outro because that video I did on the, on this vehicle, I did when I, when I was first starting out my channel. So I didn't have intro. I didn't have any editing software yet. So I didn't have that total these tools I have now yet. Then, but I do have now. Do have it now. So what is the vehicle we were reviewing? I believe it's the, the Lexus RX, I don't know, was it the 2015, yeah, 2017 Lexus RX 450H F Sport. This, I mean, Nicholson piece of beauty will cost you a max of $56,000. So this vehicle is a, definitely a vehicle that stands out when it comes to looks. It really stands out. It's a great SUV. So it can fit up to, I believe, four people, can it? Yeah, four, you, you, you're not getting six. So it can fit up to four people in here. That's a nice engine. By the way, these do work. These lights in the bottom here, they actually do light up. So, so you got the nice Lexus um, headlights. I like how they got it very detailed and very, they really got it on point here. So let's get in this thing so I can give you guys my thoughts, opinions, that type of stuff. Get in the car, get in the car. No, 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 that's not what I want to do. Now, I will admit this. Before they, before they, before they nerfed the Lexus, this Lexus, the sound of it was way better before. So, I will admit the sound, the sound of the vehicle isn't as good as I would like it to be. It's not as good as it used to be. It's still a fast SUV, but the sound is not as good as, as it used to be. Um... It doesn't, it only has, comes with automatic and ST manual, not manual clutch. This thing has, so this, again, the sound of this vehicle is just not what it used to be, and it's not, I'm not a fan of it. I'm gonna slam the gas so you guys can get to, so I can get to the top speed. This thing's still, um, oh crap, you know, I gotta break, 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 break. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Um, so this thing's top speed is dramatically reduced. I mean, this thing, I mean, it's more realistic top speed, so I guess a supercar can hit 200 miles an hour, maybe, but this thing can't. So it can hit top speed to 136 miles per hour. That's still not bad for an SUV. But um, basically, this is basically a nerfed version. Uh, they really nerfed it hardcore. Um, I gotta say, the handling of this vehicle is not what it used to be. The acceleration is not what it used to be. I think that I think that this SUV used to be like one of the best in the game. Like, and they kind of I don't know. You could say they kind of. I can't say they ruined it, but they kind of made it slower and kind of. So let me get some. I'm gonna call. I'm some ice cream and stuff. I'm gonna go buy some. Ice cream. The flush, bro. You should be open. Some freaking ice cream. I was saying, let's just, let's just keep driving. Alright, so this vehicle, we'll wait till we get to a house. We're gonna, we're gonna go to another house, because the house I was at when I started the video caused lots of lag and stuff. So we're just gonna head to some random house. Oh, no, we're just gonna go to a police station or something. It'd be cool to end the video. All right, all right, all right. 
mighty right. So, this vehicle is just, ah, uh, I still love it. I still love this vehicle, no matter what, but this vehicle got nerfed. I mean, it got just nerfed. I mean, I'll tell you right now, when I, all the way back when I made that video on the first time of this car, it, it was like, it, it accelerated like a freaking supercar. It could turn on a dime. It could do, it could even turn at high speeds easily. Like a dime. And they nerfed it. Um, this thing does not, is this car does not accelerate the way it used to accelerate all those before they, before they nerfed it. The car does not break the way it used to break. The vehicle does not ex, um, handle the way it used to handle. So it's not as, you know, quick and tight handling as it was before they loosened it up. Um, the engine does not sound the same at all. It's not sound as good. And honestly, it sucks. I still like it. Um, do I think it's do I think it's still the best SUV in the game now? No. Um, I say I'm gonna say no. The vehicle I think is better than this. If you guys don't know, I did a review on it. I will leave a link to the video. I did a review on this vehicle. Um, back when I first got my very first intro, I believe, and that is the Mercedes Benz M M L sixty three. That is the best SUV in the game, I think, which used to be the second. When they nerfed this thing, that thing just went boom. It sounds better, it's faster. This thing just, they nerfed it. They nerfed it, they nerfed the crap out of it. And it's sad because this thing was like one of a kind SUV. The thing was super fast, you know? Then they had to go and nerf it. I mean, they, I mean, I what they could have done is at least give it a um, realistic top speed. I wouldn't mind that, right? If you're gonna do that, I'll, oh, oh yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, sorry. Ooh, all right. If you guys are definitely, if you're gonna, if you're gonna give it a realistic, make it realistic top speed, at least let, let it keep its, its insane acceleration and handling. But no, they didn't. So now it's the second best. And not so that the SUV that I said is better than this one costs a lot less too. It's about thirty thousand, and it's also a luxury vehicle. So I also, by the way, I believe this is a luxury vehicle. So if you do not have the luxury game pass, you would not be able to get this. Um, so again, this is just I don't know. Like I like this SUV so much, but they nerfed the S out of it. They nerfed it so hard. And it's just not the SUV it used to be. And I know, and I'm, thinking, I'm pretty sure, I know for a fact that when the revamp comes out, when GV4 comes out, and then this vehicle carried over to GV4, you might see this thing go down the list even further, from second to like fifth or something. Remember, we're getting new SUVs in, the, in GV4. And one of them is, um, so I highly doubt that the, the, the new tiered SUV is gonna beat this thing. But I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what the full size SUV market for GV4 will be. See how they compare to the current market. I mean, this vehicle looks nice. And it's about a good reasonable price for Lexus. If you do have the luxury pass, all you need to do is pay the 56,000 and you're good. But it's just, I will, I will leave a link to the video I did on the Mercedes-Benz ML, ML63. Um, so if you guys are watching this video, go down there and click that link on the bottom. Will say link. It will say M, um, ML uh, Mercedes uh, Mercedes ML63 video. So click on that link. I'm gonna take you to that video. You guys can watch it, and you'll see this vehicle is better. Now I'm now here's the other thing we're doing. Now I'm also thinking about redoing the Mercedes video and talking about true thoughts. You know, a more in-depth review. So the video I did do on it before was not an in-depth review like this. It was more of a, and eh, the car is fast. I want to do a more in-depth review of these vehicles, both of them. So this vehicle is great. It's not what it used to be. It's still a great SUV. You still, if you can get it, if you get the luxury pass, you can afford it. It's a must-buy. But it's just at the same time. Sorry to say this. It's just not the SUV it used to be at all. This used to this this thing used to be the fastest SUV in the game. 
this thing on, on, on your screen used to be absolute fastest SUV in, in the game. This thing used to turn heads. I mean, this thing would just, I mean, this thing was, this thing used to, like this car right here, used to be pulling supercar acceleration and stuff. I mean, this thing used to be a unique, super, like basically super SUV. But now it's, they nerfed it and it's no longer to what it used to be. And I don't think we're, I don't think we're ever gonna get that back. But at least we still have the SUV, it's nice, I like it. I hope you guys too. And if you guys are new, make sure you guys subscribe if not already. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single upload of mine. Hope you and also make sure you guys comment on the video. Are you guys what do you guys think of this Lexus RX V Sport? Um and stuff like that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.